Warning, this video may not be suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Yandere Simulator. I ran a poll on Twitter and a lot of you guys said in today's video that I should try and electrocute Kokona. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So here we are, let's go ahead and change our panties. Let's go ahead and wear these panties because they're cute. We don't really need them for any reason. Let's just wear them. <laughs> Hello school. It is Monday. We don't really have anything to do at school. So why not just mess about and have a little look what we can do around here. We should probably go to class first and then explore around lunchtime because we have nothing else to do. Okay, so let's put up our physical education. For this task, I'm gonna need a screwdriver and I don't actually know where you can get a screwdriver so we may as well just have a little look around. I am planning on actually looking outside and going to where like you can do gardening because I assume that's where there's going to be a screwdriver. It just makes sense to me. Hello there, what does the gardening club do? Greetings. Information. The gardening club. If you join the gardening club you can carry gardening equipment anywhere without being considered suspicious. You I'm gonna join. take it. I'm gonna join the gardening club. Wow this place is really cute. Look at all of these trees and the area where you can plant seeds. This is amazing. I wonder if in the future you're gonna be able to bury bodies here. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, look, a shovel. I wonder what you could do with that. I like the sounds here as well. Oh, and a greenhouse. Look at this. This is really cute. I love the gardening club. Okay, so what is inside of this shed? Is there a screwdriver? Okay, there's a circular saw and I think that's about it. So where do we get a screwdriver from? Oh, okay, so the screwdriver is actually just outside of the school. Let's go check that to make sure, but apparently it is. And is the furnace on? What is this? Oh, this is a countdown of when the delinquents spawn. So I wonder if we wait, if they're just gonna spawn in front of our faces. Meanwhile, I will change my hairstyle. This is cute, look at these, look at these pigtails. They're amazing. And apparently if you have the cat ears, you can meow. Wow, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Weird anime meows. Oh yeah, they're here, look. Hey guys, hey girls. They just like Quit spawned it. in front of my eyes. Back off. Wow, these Back girls are off. rude. Quit it. Evil. Too close. Evil girls. Get away. Why are they so mean? What about the guys? Back off. Oh. Punk. They stand Scram up punk. and then they push you away. away. Mean is, I don't like you anyway. Okay, I'm going now. Time to go to class. This was not a very fun lunchtime, and oh my gosh, are you okay there? You look kind of stuck. You must have been there for hours. Can we help you out? Nope, I think you're stuck. Sorry. Okay, so let's put up some psychology points. And now it is the end of school. Let's go ahead and go home. Home sweet home. I don't think anything's going on, so let's go to sleep and then return to school in the morning. It is Tuesday. We've got to wait until Wednesday to kill Kokona. So let's just go to school. And there should be a screwdriver down here. Ah, is this it? No. That's a box cut. This is a screwdriver. We will be needing that tomorrow, but I'm gonna leave it there today. I'm gonna wait for students to arrive. Okay, one of these students has a task that we can do for them. I think it's this girl here. Let's click it. Well, actually, there is something that I need help with. What is it? What do you this need? Really embarrassing, but well, I lost my bra somewhere at school. I can't find it anywhere. Don't ask me why my bra is missing. It's a long story, okay? The point is, if you find a bra lying around, it's mine. And I would really appreciate if you'd return it to me. Oh God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Honestly, how do you lose a bra at school? Thanks. I hope you find it. That is so ridiculous. You can't just lose something that you wear unless it was gym time and somebody stole it. I'm gonna bet it was Kokona because Kokona is mean and nobody likes her. Okay, so I actually know the location of the bra. It's behind the cherry tree. Again, I have no idea why it's over there or who put it there, but it's kind of mean that someone did that. So here we are, I can see it there. Oh, it's a lovely bra. It really matches her hair color. Let's go ahead and pick that up and we can take it back to her and see what she says. Hey, I got yes, your bra. Found it. Thanks a lot. I owe you yes, you do. 
because I had to hold your stinking bra in my hands that you probably want and is probably dirty. Okay, so let's go to class, because it's nearly class time anyway, may as well go. Let's put up our language, just because we haven't done anything with it, may as well. Lunch time, is there anything else we can check out around school? Should we have a look? The library, I've never been in the library. So let's have a little look in here. Oh, it's really cute actually, I like it, I like it a lot. Martial Arts Club! I've never done anything with martial arts either, so we should definitely try that out in one episode. Okay, well, I feel like we've done a little bit of exploring. Let's go ahead and go back to class, and then tomorrow we can finally get on with our evil plan of killing Kokona again. I feel very mean. I kill her in, like, every video. <laughs> nice! It is time to leave. I feel relieved. Everybody, okay, well, let's go home, and then tomorrow we can start our evil plan. Bedtime! We go to bed super early, like 8 p.m. <laughs> and let's go to school, because today is the day we are gonna electrocute Kokona. Okay, we gotta do this quick. I need this, which is a screwdriver. I'm gonna take that. And what we need to do now is wait for Kokona to come to school, and we're gonna follow her and see where she goes. I bet you think you're so smart, don't you, Kokona? All we got to do now is wait to see where she goes. I'm just gonna sit watching her with this girl who just doesn't talk or anything and she's pretty strange and I can crawl into her and nothing happens. This looks so funny. Okay, anyway, let's wait and see where she goes. Okay, Kokona's on the move. We must go. <laughs> if she turned around and saw us crawling like this behind her, she would be so creeped out. So where are you going, Kokona? Are you going to the toilet? Oh, me too. We must both need the toilet at the same time. Isn't that strange? Yeah, oh, you're just uh, gonna walk by me and act like I don't exist. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna beat you in there because I'm gonna come in here and wait for you. Yeah, I'm just going to the toilet. I'm not being strange. Yeah, I'm just, just in here going to the toilet like you are. Okay, quickly, we gotta do this. We gotta get the water bucket. We gotta fill it up. We gotta turn off the lights. Hey, don't turn off the lights. Oh! <laughs> Fall on her head, yes. And then quickly, we gotta get the screwdriver and we gotta unscrew the light. Right, okay. Now, she is so mad that someone's thrown water on her and turned off the lights that she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna turn on the tap. Oh my gosh. She just touched a metal tap and turned on electricity while being wet through and this is what's happened. She's dead. Oh my gosh. Kokona, no! This is awful. This is horrifying. Poor Kokona met her fate today. She electrocuted herself. How unfortunate. Anyway, our job is done. Let's go ahead and skip to the end of the day and see what happens on the end screen. After school, the school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police determine that Kokona Haruka died from being electrocuted. The police treat her death as a possible murder and search the school for any other victims. The police are unable to locate any other corpses on school ground. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere-chan but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Oh yeah. We successfully electrocuted Kokona and nobody found out. Anyway guys, this is where I'm gonna leave today's Yandere Simulator video. I hope you really did enjoy it. If you did, do make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Uh, and let's activate this furnace. Great, the evidence is burning. Nobody will know it was us. I think you are. This is so perfect. This has gone exactly to plan. Nothing has gone wrong. I'm so happy. You can see the furnace smoking in the background there. Let's go say hello to Kokona and pretend to be her friend when actually we are framing her for an awful crime. But she loves Senpai and she won't be able to love Senpai after this because she's going to get arrested. Hey Kokona, how you doing girl? Oh, she has a task that we can do. 
Oh, it's not even Kokona. It's this girl here. She needs help with a task. That was confusing. I.